In this video, I'm very excited to be sharing with you one of my favorite route combinations out of the bunch tied in. Uh, it's phenomenal, phenomenal route combination. It's so simple, and there's one little adjustment that you're going to be able to make to this that is going to make this a very good quick hike, quick little quick play that you can really, really move the ball well depending on what the defense does. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. It's great to meet you, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you give me just a second, we're going to get right into the tip, but before we do, I want to let you know that if you have not subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe um, to the channel here. We upload several videos every single day that are designed to help you take your Madden game to the next level. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to do so. Also, for those of you that have been following me for a little while, maybe you've heard of my text message membership. I got a new cell phone number. And so I wanted to let you know what my cell phone number is. It's in the top left hand corner of the screen. It is 208 218 six nine zero zero i've also put that down in the description for you but if you want to get my text membership playlist all you have to do is text the word madden to two zero eight two one eight six nine zero zero and it will automatically send you that playlist with all of the offensive and defensive schemes um, that are included with that text message membership it's completely free it takes you five seconds to get it all you've got to do is simply text the word madden to two zero eight two one eight six nine zero zero okay guys so in today's video i wanted to share with you a play or just a simple little adjustment um, to the play inside switch that i think is going to make this even better especially as a quick hike type of play um, something that can really um, push push the defense in the underneath zones of this uh, of this offense. So inside switch, and I wanna give you just a simple little adjustment. You don't have to be, I like to run this specific play with my bunch to the short side of the field. You don't have to do that, but that's what I like to do. And I'm gonna show you why in this video. So first things first, um, when we talk about man-to-man -man coverage, one of the things that is really, really cool out of the bunch tight end is that you get this alignment to the to the circle receiver where he is basically uh not bumped in a lot of formations like double a gap he doesn't normally get pressed out of that um nickel normal he doesn't get pressed out of that nickel 55 he doesn't get pressed on that really the only formation that he does get pressed out of is in a in is in when they run the mic or the the cover two man out of the three three five wide and i'll show you that in just a moment but really quickly i want to show you just a simple simple adjustment all you're going to do is you're gonna smart route your outside receiver. So that's gonna be the square receiver. So I'm gonna smart route him. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my left side receiver, Devontae Adams, uh, the slot there, and I'm gonna put him on an out route or a zig route. Either way, you, it doesn't matter which one, you could do either one of those, okay? And that's gonna give us that flat thread on the left side. Now, if you want to, you can also put him on a hitch route. I personally really do like to you, know, you can kind of play around with that. Sometimes he's on an out route, sometimes he's on a hitch route. If they're doing a lot of zone drops, where they're like dropping their zones to five and 25 and all that, then that's where I will a lot of times put him on a hitch. But you can put him on whatever you want, okay? Zig, hitch, or out, or even just a flat route. Those are kind of four of my favorite routes to put the triangle receiver on, on this play. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna smart route your tight end. That is really important. It's going to help a ton with this play in terms of the spacing. You're gonna have a lot of spacing once you use that smart route to tight end, especially if you're in mutt and you have a really good route running uh, tight end out there with maybe like uh, Ma Ma Matchup Nightmare, I believe is the ability's name. He's gonna get more open against man if you have that. In regs, Robert Tunyon doesn't always get open, but in mutt, this will almost always work because you're gonna have a tight end that has really good route running, okay? Then the last thing that you wanna do with this is you wanna put the circle receiver, Tavon Austin, on a drag route. And that drag route is one of the glitchiest routes in the entire game because of the alignment of the formation. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna motion snap Valdez Scantling. So we're gonna motion our square receiver to the outside. And as soon as he moves, we're gonna snap the ball. So we're just gonna get this little motion snap right here. And what you're gonna see is against man-to-man -man coverage, you're gonna get this little quick route. And I guarantee you, you will almost always get about 10 yards. Like you will literally almost always get about 10 yards with this route. Um, it is super, super glitchy because man coverage can't press him unless they're in a specific alignment and we're going to show you how to deal with that in just a moment 
But if you just watch this little quick little pop pass right there, it's so simple. It's like five to 10 yards every single time, but it's super, super quick. You need to get the ball out quick, um, but it's, it's a really, really, really good route. If you wanted to, you could even leave um, the triangle receiver on his route, and I'll show you that real quick too. Um, but basically, it's all about just getting this little natural separation, and as you see, you're just gonna kinda slide in for about seven to 10, five to 10 yards. That's the first thing that you have going for you on this play. The second thing that you have going for you on this play is your running back route. This running back route is really, really, really good. I can't stress to you how good it is. Um, if you see man coverage, just throw it. Just trust the route. Um, just trust the route. I'm telling you right now, that running back route is super, super good. Uh, man coverage does okay on it. It doesn't do great on it. Um, if you wanted to even turn this into mesh, like a little underneath mesh post type setup, you could do that as well. You could motion the triangle receiver to the right here. This motion snap makes this running back route almost unstoppable. Uh, when you motion, when you motion the slot, um, the, the the triangle receiver, when you motion him against man coverage, this route to the running back is literally unguardable. You'll see right here this little quick route right here that you could almost book a completion every single time it doesn't really matter what they do and if you if you get the timing down on this you can actually especially if you have like a derrick henry in mud or something like that you can actually like truck it up the field uh, and get out there but you see that little separation right there that you're going to get and then you get that natural little flow of the route to be able to get it up against man and cover so you you can do all of these things with this play and that's what's really cool about it um i actually probably if it was me, I would probably really work this double drag concept. This double drag concept is really, really good because both drags are going to be unbumpable. As you see right there, Devontae Adams, when a drag is not able to be pressed, it makes it much, much better against man-to-man -man coverage, much, much more consistent for you uh, against man-to-man -man coverage. And so this is a simple little uh, variance of the first setup here but you see i mean both look at these drags just really getting good separation um on the right side you got a lead blocker you can get out there and go that's really really good because what it's going to do for you is it's going to open up the middle of the field um with this so i want to show you the next setup actually i want to show you how to deal with the three three five wide stuff so really quick on a three three five wide what they're going to do is they're going to man this circle guy up almost every time with this linebacker and then that's going to allow them to kind of sit in the middle of the field. That's really what they, their goal is. Well, the beauty of this formation, you'll see here, and, and it will. I mean, it will bump the drag. But that drag will get a pretty decent inside position. And he almost always beats that man coverage. Unless that guy has one step ahead on him, which is possible, depending on who you're playing. Um, you're going to be able to hit that relatively easily. Now, what I like to do whenever I see 335 wide, because I I know that almost every single time I play 335 wide, they will do this little man up adjustment with the with the linebacker right there. I almost always will use that second setup just because the motion snap, when you motion and they do these man adjustments right here, it can sometimes glitch out the man coverage. And you see, I got Devontae Adams wide open on a cross drag right over the middle of the field okay so you have a lot of options another thing that i like about that like out of three three five wide specifically um your route to your running back is going to be wide open like i mean just just so wide open here uh, and we'll show you here real quick so again i'm going to run that same motion snap snap him right about there and you see this natural little pick and rub that's going to occur and you're going to be able to pop that route really really quickly to your running back um in this formation so there's a lot that you can do with this one little play. Um, this is one of my favorite plays for attacking the underneath in the entire game. I absolutely love this play. I cannot tell you how much um, I want to encourage you to test this out. It's really good against man. It's really good against zone. You see this little natural cut right there that Jones is going to make. It's going to beat that man coverage to the outside, and you're going to be able to hit that. Now against zone coverage, it's even better. Um, it's actually really, really good against zone. So let's say that they run kind of the meta where they're gonna basically run cover three Mabel and user in the middle of the field. You cannot do that against this specific play. Um, you see that your flats on both sides. What's nice is this is where that, that little, little truck animation that you can do to the running back will come in handy because the flat zone is gonna shoot to the flat 
it's not going to take away the inside flat. And so what they're going to have to do is they're going to have to have a flat zone over there and they're going to have to man up the running back. And that's a lot of adjustments for, you know, just one player. They have to have two to three players to guard the running back successfully um, out of this formation. That then opens up a lot more room over the middle of the field now for um, your for your other players. So I'll show you that real quick. Uh, this motion snap, this little drag right here is really good. You see, once he gets past the yellows, he's he's going to be right in a nice little pocket. And the beauty of this is because you have uh, because you have your tight end and your running back both going to the flat zone he's gonna pull they're gonna pull the zones out of the way and it's gonna create a natural space for you to be able to throw this little drag route in here and then a little quick double juke up field and you're gonna be able to be up into the second level so it's it's almost like a little quick pass type of thing and then again you're gonna force him to have to play these these underneath zones that is really going to get them in trouble because now we're going to go into the post route here and what you'll see is this post route is going to be wide open over the middle of the field and it has really good spacing when you motion him um, to the outside in my opinion you're going to get really really good spacing on this play um, let me show you the cover uh, let me show you the cover three setup uh, real quick here so again we're dragging uh, and then we're using that little out route right there to create some space but if you look at the tight end route you can throw this with a hard right pass lead it is a little dicey against the zone drops when they're when they're dropping their zones and stuff like that so just kind of be mindful of that and then one of the other things I did want to show you the second setup against that coverage so if they're running like a Mabel type coverage the second setup is really good for that too um, because the zones are already going to where they're going you don't have to worry about that and you see now we've got that whole middle of the field to be able to work so this play creates a lot of problems both for man and for zone coverage as well as for match coverage because they're just kind of mesh post type of concept uh, is really really effective uh, we talked we haven't talked a lot about cover two from this uh, but this play actually does a fairly decent job against cover two here you'll see that this route to the tight end uh, just has a lot of space to be able to run and as you can see there, that's a 30 yard cloud flat that it just got over. So that's another great option um, in this offense. But anyways, that's a little bit about the bunch tight end. Now, really quickly, I did want to let you know that I have a full ebook out on the bunch tight end and you can pick it up right now for just $15. I believe this is the best offense in the entire game. It has every single route that you need to be successful. It also has some really cool alignment issues that is going to help you glitch out a lot of coverages for one play touch touchdowns we teach you everything about it in the ebook and so if you want to get the full ebook it's in the description and again it's just 15 bucks you just head down to the description there's a link for you there but also if you want to get a free sample of the bunch tight end it is in my text message membership and so the way that you can get that completely for free is by texting the word madden to my new cell phone number which is 208 218-6900. Once you send me that message, I'll send you a link back. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to get access to the whole playlist. And there's a specific section in there about bunch tight end. It's about an hour and 10 minute preview of the ebook. Kind of shows you a little bit about what you're getting yourself into. So before people buy the ebook, I always recommend them checking out the preview just to make sure that they um, they definitely want to go with that offense. But I believe this offense will make you a a better player i believe it will make you successful and i think you can learn a lot about offense from that simple bunch tight end and it's a very simple easy to follow ebook that will teach you everything you need to know so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you have any questions my new cell phone number is 208-218-6900 thanks for your time today guys